morning guys um so today i thought i would vlog um trying to organize my pantry and i was running some errands earlier on and decided to pick up a few things from pep home which you're going to be pleasantly surprised by and uh yeah i'm trying to sort out this kitchen so some of you may not know uh, my previous kitchen in my previous apartment was my dream kitchen it was like three times bigger than this one and then when we moved in here we got a small kitchen so as i was saying um in my previous apartment i had like a bigger kitchen it was absolutely amazing however since we moved to this new apartment the kitchen is significantly smaller but all the other living quarters are a bit bigger Anyway, it's been driving me crazy and I really, really want to organize it and make it like an aesthetic pantry type of thing. And I thought I'd do it vlog style, very chilled. I'm sipping my coffee. I have my glasses on. Oh my god. Um, so that I can see you properly. And yeah, so I'm going to show you before how it is. It looks so ghetto like. <laughs> It looks really really good. Trust me when you see it and hopefully it comes out right. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to continue the vlog afterwards and make it like a full blown vlog or just a pantry organization. And I'm going to show you all the idea. Please make sure that you subscribe, that you thumbs up this video. Also check me out on my socials and let's get started. Okay so this is what we're working with. I have two of these tall ones which um, I thought I would use for things like passing and then I have these three large ones which I really really like these were the most expensive ones out of the entire things these were 39 rand each so I got three of those and then I got these cookie looking ones I really really like them I think they're so cute and they had like this size in this exact shape but i thought it would be fun to mix and match and then i also have like six of these really small ones which i thought i could use for spices and other little things because my spices at the moment they're just flying everywhere they, they stay in the plastic containers so i really like these all of these containers are airtight so nothing gets in nothing gets out and they have like a, um, a plastic rubber thing which i really really like uh, so i'm going to show you the other containers that i have been using at the moment okay so i'm opening up my cupboard and this is how it looks right now uh as you can see i have these three containers which I got from Gay a long time ago they have sugar, coffee and tea bags and then I've been using these makeshift containers which are leftovers from coffee as you see I consume a lot of coffee so I tend to recycle these glass jars when I'm done with them and that's what I've been doing and also this one was for mayonnaise and honestly I don't know where I misplaced the lid so I've been using cupcake uh, holders so that nothing enters and it's worked so far but it's definitely time to upgrade and then I just have this little sugar thing and as you can see I have a lot of stuff that I need to sort through the side so i'm not opening the side and as you can see it's a mess i didn't see anything this is just how it looks i have a whole bunch of spices which are misplaced and i have eggs on top and some snacks and pasta and this is what i've been using to hold my 
expresses it's an old ice cream container and it just doesn't look good at all it has ground paprika this is my favorite brand of spices so I just have a whole lot of spices and they spill it's just not organized and so that's what we can hopefully use so I'm just going to give you a closer look it's honestly a mess there's nothing cute about this I mean some spices stay here but I have a whole lot more spices that need containers um, so yeah that's how it looks and this is the top part and this is the medicine thing and it has like nuts it's just a whole lot of random stuff um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear everything out wipe everything down as I've also done with these containers I've washed them and dried them so that they are clean to use um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to remove everything from the cupboard and clean everything out and then I can decide what to place please don't mind that I'm wearing a hood today is really really cold it's 13 degrees and I'm freezing I'm even wearing shoes inside the house which is completely against me. I hate it when people wear shoes around the house. And it's a very casual style type of vlog, as you can see. I have no makeup on, I have my hair out. Mm -hmm. So just enjoy no the real me. <laughs> then let's get started. This is the ghetto. <laughs> I am the ghetto. <laughs> Quick question. Why do black people always want to contain these? They want to keep these ice cream containers. I just, I don't like them, but I was doing it. But I mean, it's good to recycle. But like every black household has an ice cream container that doesn't have ice cream. Anyway, and rice, flour, oats and spices and other random stuff so i'm going to start putting everything inside and i think pasta all the all of these bulk stuff i'm going to put them inside of these containers and then i can see exactly what i'll do after. So that was the 1st of March 2020. So I'm going to throw this away. <laughs> Static. Red light. Stop sign. Up for you turns. Now you're up the wrong way. On a one way street. Trying to figure out where you might left your feet. Will 
so so far this is what we have this is some pancake um, mix some pan beans some snacks popcorn rice pasta now first thing that i need is a label maker which i don't even have i don't know how i'm going to do that second thing is i need to write the expiry date but most of these items finish quite quickly like this will be done by the end of the week because this is my hubby's snacks i don't eat this and he goes through it quite quickly so i'm not worried about that and popcorn i'm the one who usually eats popcorn i don't think popcorn expires the rice also will use it within a month so even the mealy meal i'm not worried about that however for the spices which i'm gonna put here in a second i definitely need a label maker i'm not sure what i'm gonna do right now but we'll see so i'm just gonna put these in so i think i have some double-sided tape and i think i'll stick it at the bottom oops at the bottom of this and then label it I'm not sure how it's gonna work but let's try it <laughs> my handwriting is disgusting uh, but I think this will do for now until I find a better solution. So let's start. spice i have some of them here but i still have a lot left over and i still have these uh so i think i will definitely add about six more of these to accommodate all of these spices um like this is whole parsley and this is mixed herbs i don't want to mix it together and i just have coarse black pepper right here which I put, oh my god, which I which I put right here and I use to season a lot when I'm cooking as well as uh, this coarse salt and this is the bigger container for that. This I've already had and I decided that I'm going to put my um, kno, uh stock cubes whatever inside this container because i don't need to close it and i'm trying to figure out what else can i put here that doesn't need to be closed but as you can see i still have a lot of leftover spices and these are all soups and stuff and so i decided that i'm going to line them up here so that i can make use of this acrylic organizing thing and now i'm just going to try to put everything in place I definitely need to add more containers that's for sure and i decided to reuse this for these nuts this is from uh, a pesto that i used previously this tastes really really good i don't know why i don't focus um yeah so this is the pesto this one i haven't opened but i decided to put these nuts here because these will get finish quite quickly but i definitely think i need to add more of these containers and like two more of these big ones and maybe three more of these and more of these for sure so now i'm just gonna pack everything inside the cupboards and see how it goes
So, um, this is the final outlook on how the cupboard looks. I decided to put all of the beverage stuff, the coffee, sugar, tea, whatever, right on top. Previously, it was inside here. Uh, and then this is all of the spices, tin stuff, soups, and all of that. And then I decided to put my beef cubes here because... I just thought they'd look better <laughs> um, so this is how the side looks definitely a huge improvement but again I have to add extra spice um, things and then if you go this side this side I just wanted to keep it aesthetically aesthetically pleasing and i have all of the spices here but again as i said i need to add six more of these because i still have a lot of leftover spices and spices that are in the packets and then i also need to add three more of these for all the snacks because as you can see i have some biscuits here which shouldn't even be here this is the sugar thing it's written sugar but i'm just turning it around for now and then this is all of my rough salt i use this for cooking and also when i'm bathing and then i have popcorn some trail mix if that's what it's called and then this is the pancake flour so it looks really great and then on top we have oats pasta mini meal uh stamp and beans as well as some rice so i think for the ones that are on top i would appreciate two more of these and then for these i'm gonna add three more and then for these i need to add six more of these oh and the price for this was six rand for these little ones it was really really cheap um and then these ones were 22 rand this one was 40 rand and this one was 32 rand so i think it looks absolutely amazing right now um and i've recycled this coffee thing uh, because again you don't have to buy everything new you still should recycle the glassware that you have um but i'm so happy with how it turned out this side i just have my salt and pepper shaker some oil and i know i didn't show this side and then i have um my fruit jug and then we have some alcohol water and then the leftover stuff is here this is the bottom cupboard which usually has some vegetables and my pots and pans so those are down here and then right here we have some veggies and then all the medicine i decided to keep it here more alcohol and then my eggs and all of those extra spices are still here and uh, the ice cream container is still working and I have so many more containers and these are all of the um, ice cream containers that I was saying every black family has including myself on my phone um, but yeah that's how it looks I definitely still have to organize some more I still have to buy more glass containers but I think this was a really really good start and I also think that I'm going to end this vlog here I'll probably incorporate um, the part 2 of the organization if you may call it when I buy more stuff in the next vlog and yeah probably I'll also organize my fridge or whatever the case may be but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was very candid uh, very real life vlog like there's nothing touched up about this everything was a mess as how it usually is um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog uh please make sure that you subscribe and that you thumbs up this video also let me know how you are organizing your items and how you optimize the space that you have in your kitchen but yeah i'll see you next time bye